Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Todd. I'm going to be your logic tutor. Today, we are calculating the truth value or truth tables for large complex statements. And we're going to classify uh, those statements as either a tautology, self contradictory, or contingent when we're done. Okay, let's suppose that we are trying to create a truth table for this expression right here. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is figure out um, all the possible com combinations of truth values for the different statement constants, okay? Uh, and um, the way we do that is by using this formula. The number of lines that we need to create all the possible combinations is 2 to the nth where n is the number of statement constants we have, the unique statement constants. And we have x and we have y. In this case, we just have 2, so it's 2 to the second, which is 4. We need four lines to come up with all the possible combinations of truth values for x and y. And so we've already prepared that by having four lines. All right, so here are our different statement constants. Now we need to come up with the combinations. The way that we do that is just start with the rightmost statement constant and fill this in following this pattern, true, false, true, false, until you hit the end. As you move over to the next statement constant, double the pattern. So instead of one true, two trues followed by two falses, and we've filled it out. So. Following that procedure, we have come up with all the possible combinations of truth values for x and y. Now we're going to see what the truth value of this expression is for all the possible combinations of truth values for x and y. All right. In general, we work problems from inside the brackets out. So if we look at this problem, the first thing we might want to do is calculate not y. Okay, calculating not y is easy to do. It's just the opposite of the y column because when y is true, like number line one, uh, not y would be false. Line two, y is false, so not y would be true. Line three, y is true, so not y would be false. Line four, y is false, so not y would be true. So we've calculated the value for not y. Now let's calculate the value for not x. That's just going to be the column under the x over here, uh, reversed. So when x is true, not x would be false. When x is true on line two, uh, x would be not x would be false again. When x is false, not x would be true. That's line three right here. And again, four on line four, x is false, so not x would be true. So we've calculated the truth value for not y and not x. And so now, since we've got brackets out here, we need to calculate um, the if then for the values that we came up with. So on line one, the antecedent is false and the consequent is false. False then false is true. And I write it under the operator. And then I'm gonna cross that out since I'm, and that out since I've used them up. Don't wanna confuse myself. Line two, um, we need to do an if then with a true antecedent and a false consequent. If we look that up on our truth table, uh, our basic truth table, this thing right here, uh, Antecedent is true, consequent is false. Go over here under the if then, and we see it's false. So we're going to write in false. Line three, antecedent is false, consequent is true. That's true. And line four, the antecedent is true, the consequent is true. That's true. And so now I'm going to scratch all these out since I've used them. Uh, so we calculated the truth value for the consequent of this giant conditional uh, for lines 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, let's go figure out what the antecedent is. Uh, x if and only if y. On line 1, both x and y are true. Um, so if and only if, true if and only if is true. I'll cross those out. 
on line uh, two, the x is true and the y is false. If we look up the if and only if, uh, we would see in such a case the biconditional is false. Let's cross this out. Uh, line three, the x is false, the y is true. Uh, if and only if is false. And uh, line four, both x is false and y is false, in which case the biconditional is true. And I'm going to scratch those out. So now what I need to do, the final operation, is to do an if-then with uh, line one, where the antecedent is true and the consequent is true. And we look that up and we see that it's true. Line two, the antecedent is false. The consequent is false, and we see that that is true. Line three, the antecedent is false, the consequent is true, that's true. Line four, the antecedent is true, the consequent is true. We look that up under the conditional, and we see that it's false. So uh, this final column is our final answer. What we've discovered about this expression is for every possible interpretation, that's these one, two, uh, these combinations over here, this statement, the one that I circled, is true. We have a special name for statements that are always true for every possible interpretation, and we call those tautologies. Okay, so we would classify this statement right here as a tautology because no matter what values you plug in for x and y, it comes out, the statement comes out true. All right, let's move on and try another one. Um, this one here, uh, we have two statement constants again. So the number of lines we need to come up with all the possible combinations of truth values for the statement constants s and x are two to the second, which would be four. And notice we have four lines ready to go. Remember how we fill in these values so we get all the possible combinations. Start out on the rightmost statement constant uh, and let it be true, and then rotate between true and false, true, false, true, false. Uh, and now as we move over to the next statement constant, uh, we're going to double the pattern. So s would be true and true and false and false. Following that pattern, we get all the possible combinations of truth values for s and x. Now let's start solving this problem. First thing we need to do is calculate the value, because we're working from inside the brackets out, of the not s. Uh, let me write in the value for s, true, true, false, false. All I did was copy the s column, and then s gets knotted, in which case this would be false, false, true, and true. Okay, but we see that the not s is knotted itself, so not false is true, not false is true, uh, not true is false, and not true is false. Okay, so we've now calculated the value for not, not s. And let me write the value for x. Uh, I'm just copying this column right here. X is true, false, true, false. And now what we're doing is an or between this column here and that column here. We're doing these brackets. So true or true is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False or false is false. All right, cross everything out I've used. So the conjunct to this, con this conditional uh, we have calculated. Uh, the antecedent is just S right here. So let's just fill in the S, true, true, false.
false, false. I just copied the S column from here. Now I need to do the if then operation for this and this. Uh, true, then true is true. And line two, the antecedent is true, the consequent is true, true then true is true. Uh, line three, the antecedent is false, the consequent is true. And we look that up and we see that it is true. And uh, in the case that the antecedent is false and the consequent is false, we see that it's true. All right, so let me cross this stuff out. Um, so notice our final column is always true again. And what do we call those? Uh, we call those tautologies. All right, let's try another problem in just